If you've never come across Solenopsis mealybug in a cotton paddock before, it can be quite a daunting experience when you first come across a hotspot. Probably the most important thing you can do at the outset is to take note of where you are in the field. So that may involve using some coloured tape when you walk out to the end of the paddock marking that row and getting a rough idea of how far into the field you were because quite often it's difficult to find the second time round. So if you look at this hot spot that I'm standing in, it's actually possible to see a sequence of events. If you look to the centre of the hot spot, you'll see that the plants are at their worst and the mealybugs sort of radiate out. In the middle, there's actually a volunteer that's out of the plant row from last season. So if you like, this is ground zero from where these mealybugs have overwintered and then spread out into the surrounding area. If we look at this hot spot, it's actually quite tight. And what this tells me at this late stage of the crop is that there's been a lot of beneficial insects here actively suppressing the mealybug population. And having a good picture of which beneficials are present is really important because there's very few chemical control options for mealybug. One of the main mechanisms that we have to keep mealybug under control is to take advantage of natural enemies such as the ladybirds and lacewings that are here. So it's really important if making a spray decision across the rest of the field that we're picking products that are going to look after these particular beneficial insects. One of the other important beneficials to keep an eye out for is parasitic wasps and you'll see their mummies in amongst the mealybug if you look closely. Another tool that you can use to get an idea of how widespread hotspots might be in your field are the increasingly popular technology of drones. With the changes to CASA's rules back in September in 2016, it's now perfectly legal for growers to operate drones over their own properties. There's a number of hotspots throughout this field, but interestingly, they're all confined to where we've got a sandy ridge. Mealybugs often turn up in areas where there might be stress. So in this case, these plants are a bit more water stressed than the rest of the field, and that's where we're seeing the largest aggregation of hotspots. So it's really important to be able to come back and monitor these hotspots because they give you a window onto what's out in the rest of the crop. It's not always possible to know what other hotspots might be hidden in a field, but being able to keep a track of any hotspots that you found will give you an idea of the rate of progress that the mealybug are making, what beneficials might be there actively feeding on them, and you can use that information to inform some of your spray decisions over the life of the crop.